Hey guys, Anthony 4 before Diesel. I've got some really important information here. There's been a bit of misinformation, or maybe it's not misinformation, but maybe this is going to be better information. Now, there's been a, quite a lot of questions from time to time about the strength of these K on rear tables, and oh, some people said I don't like the way they attach just to the trim because the screws, yeah, we've got an installation video, but the coarse thread screws do go into the plastic trim. And it's rock solid and I lean against the push on it. I don't want to say I could sit on it. I reckon that would probably pop the door trim off or something like that. But it's my understanding that they're rated to hold 10 kilos, which is obviously ample, but we want to demonstrate. So whether it's information you're after or a bit of a laugh, I'm going to risk ripping this whole table, busting the strings. I don't know what's going to go first, if the strings are going to break, if the screws are going to start popping out. So this could really go pear-shaped. As far as I know, the K on rear door table, what you're looking at here, right, they are rated to hold 10 kilos. And the reason I know that is I was reading a post of someone recently somewhere on Facebook popped up um, on my notifications, I don't know why, saying, oh, you know, uh, rear door table's for sale and uh, this one holds double what the K on one does. So for a start, if you're competing with K on, you've got quite a challenge ahead of yourself now. The good thing about this table, I'll just say quickly, it's stainless steel, so it's going to last really well. Um, easy to clean, food grade type thing. It's got an edge on the side so things can't fall off. Your chopping boards can fit in there nicely. You know, we've got a few, we put them the other way as well. But there's an edge all the way around so things aren't going to fall, you know, if you know what I mean. Things aren't going to fall off. It's thin, it's lightweight, you know what I mean. It folds up quick and easy like that. You just put your straps on like that, right? So it's really easy to use and lightweight, right? Now... The key thing here is we're going to show you how much weight it can hold with those screws, you know, so I'll just quickly point out one, two, three screws each side. That's like a flat plate. You install those first as per, this is separate, the storage, rear, K and rear storage case. So K and stuff's really awesome, Australian made, awesome value for money. It should be dearer than what it is, okay? They've underpriced themselves, just like they've probably underrated what the table can take when they say, it can take 10 kilos. I'm assuming that's correct, okay? I haven't checked. I'm going by what the manufacturer of the other tables says when he says it's rated to 20, mine hold double type thing, right? And I just want to point out that going by the pictures, and I could be wrong, but his string support, it attaches directly to the trim. It may go through into some steel, which would be a good idea. And you could probably get longer screws that go through into the steel, but if there's no problem, why fix it? So anyway, for a bit of entertainment, let's go, right? Everybody knows, right? Tell me if you know this or not. A litre of water equals a kilo, right? One kilo of water is one kilo, or am I saying the right thing? One litre of water is one kilo of weight, okay? So a thousand grams, a thousand mil, right? Now these bottles, they're two litre bottles, except I've overfilled them, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've just, Overdone it already. From what Kayan said, I've already put too much weight, right? Because we've got 12 kilos on a 10 kilo table, right? So of course, we really want to tip the scales. It's thirsty weather here. This talking, we, you know, we're going to put out, risk it, and put our glass drink there. Is it about to pop? I don't think so, right? Now, mhm, mm mhm. Mm now, it's not just about car and rear tables here. Okay, there's a lot of information here, and what I want to point out here is. Let's take a company, for example, like Century Batteries. Now, crap companies, cheap companies, rubbish companies, what they do is they overrate their products, okay? So let's just use an example. Let's just say, I'm not saying these companies are good or bad. You figure it out for yourself. But let's say, for example, ARB made a compressor and they say it pumps 68 litres a minute. Then it probably pumps 68 litres a minute or more, right? Now, if a company like, let's just... I don't know, should we use King's Wall Drive Supercenter, for example? It says our compressor pumps 300 litres a minute. Then maybe it only pumps 200, you know, or 100. Or one. You get what I mean, right? So I'm not saying those companies are good or bad. I'll just use them as examples. The example being, let's say, ARB is being good, doing the right thing, giving good information and underrating. And King's or Supercenter or whatever their Chinese product is, where they got it from, they overrate it to make it look good. So it's a bit of marketing rubbish, okay? So Kaon is a quality company. So this is not just an example now. Kaon is a quality company. We only provide feedback and use quality products and we're only going to recommend you go to quality K 
companies, quality products, right? That's how we roll. Nobody's paid me to tell you this cone table's good. It's bloody awesome. That cage there, I did it. Just awesome. This package, you know, it you, uh, makes you wonder how you could ever live without it before you have these things. Anyway, let's stop fart assing around and get some serious weight onto these. Let's just get these out of the way, right? Let's get some big bottles here. I reckon this 10 kilo thing, what a load of rubbish, right? Let's get rid of those. Time to get serious here. All right, so 10 kilos. These are over full as well, right? That's about 11 kilos because that's a 10 litre water bottle. Right, there's another one, right? There they are. There's 20 kilos. All right, let's start. Stop fart ass around. Let's get, bang. Let's put, we've got no room here, right? One, two, that one's going to fall over. Three at that side, right? Another three at this side. One, two, three. Three, right? Three. Okay, so what do we got here, guys? I mean, a video shows you the truth. So for those people that worried about, oh, I'm not sure about the mounting system and the plastic and the screws and whatever, right? You know, there's the strings. There's no trick here. There's nothing under the table. Do we? Is this like a magic trick? There's a stick underneath the bottom? Do I need to, uh, you know, well, hang on. Let's get the broom here, all right? Here we go. No magic trick, there's no fishing lines or anything underneath here, you know, you can see. You know, this is where they chop the person in half type thing. Now it's not a magic trick, guys, right? And you can still put your Canadian on there and bang it down and it's not going anywhere. How long do we need to let it sit there for? I'm going to give you a little bit more information while we wait for the whole thing to collapse, alright? And if it does, we'll still put the video up because it'll be funny as hell, won't it? You know? Just give me a sec, I'm thirsty. Tell you what, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't drink much. You must think I'm an alcoholic or something, but, you know, pretty casual this afternoon, you know, just sharing some love, sharing the information, right? So here we are. What do you want to do? What are you saying? I'll put the water on the table in the wrong spot. Right, fair's fair, isn't it? I mean, 10 kilos is 10 kilos, 20 is 20, and this is 32, plus they're over full, right? You know, they're over full, right? Over full, plus the bottles. We're talking about 35 kilos here. So I, Anthony, 4 before diesel, have just rated the Cowan rear door table from 120 to 35 kilos. Now, I don't recommend you do that because there's just no need for it. It's ridiculous. Let's move the waters this way a little bit. Let's see if things go pear-shaped. Right, right down this. You know how it works with leverage, right? The further you bring things this way, is it going to go? I'm worried about losing my toes. I haven't got steel cap boots on here, right? They are on such a lean. It's like the leaning tower of Pisa this way. There's so much weight on that table, right? What else do you want? What other evidence do you want that the K on rear table is perfectly short? I might need to, if I'm going to do crazy stuff like this, I've got to tell you, the string is so far stretched, it's not funny. It's definitely a leaning tower of Pisa. Do you want to give you an idea? Like, I don't know. If I'm going to do crazy stuff like this, we're going to need to tighten up the strings, all right? So... We'll take that 10 kilos back off there. Tell you what we're going to do, right? We're going to do this on the 150 as well. But we're going to do it on 4 before Touring Australia. Because the table's really a touring product. And this is the other example I'm going to use. This sort of thing is really going to go on 4 before Touring Australia from now on. It's not a mechanical thing, right? So up until now, I've been mainly mechanical. And I've been sharing a bit of touring information as well. There's going to be a bit of a crossover. But sometimes... You're going to miss out if you're not on both, if you know what I mean, okay? So, we're going to get rid of these bottles, right? Butter bing. This is a butter bing. Take these off here. Now, I'm going to give you some examples for those that hung around. Right now, the table's pretty level again, yeah? And you just bang. Right? Don't, oh, can't even hook the... Right, there it is, right? It's bloody beautiful. It's one of the best things we've added to the vehicle, okay? So you want to see all that you're not sure about all that water? Was it real? Yeah, all the water's there. What else have we got here that you can't see? Nothing, right? It's all the water's there, right? So it's just literally an awesome table. It looks good when it's folded up. It's a nice, clean, stainless steel finish. You can't, I'll tell you a tip with tables. You gotta have an edge on it, okay? There's nothing worse than a table that hasn't. See this edge here, what I'm talking about? When I say an edge, a folded edge where the edge folds up because whether it's plates, spoons, or you're making your breakfast and you put some blueberries in that muesli, and you drop a couple and they just roll, everything falls off the edge. You know everything rolls, you already know that. You're not going to be parked on flat ground. And if you are, the door's not going to be flat because you've got a lift or you've got gear loaded up, down, left, right. The table's not going to be 100% flat. You get it pretty close to flat, but with an edge, the thing just works. It's absolutely sick. I've seen other people with tables without edges on them. So for the person, if you see this video, 
awesome, love free enterprise and a bit of competition, but you gotta be careful how you do it because <laughs> I just had to re-rate the table because I really love Kaon and if they said 10 kilos, I say tell them they're dreaming. You've just seen at least about 35 kilos. I've demonstrated how easy it is. It's awesome value for money. Um, it's easy to install. We've got videos on that. Just search our channel. Check our playlists, okay? Under playlist, we've got subheadings like Kaon stuff, right? Or replacing injectors or buy, how to buy my kits, all the parts kits or whatever it might be. I don't know. Quality companies like Century or ARB or Kaon or whoever it might be, they underrate things. And that's what's happened here. Kaon have just said 10 kilos because you know what? Who needs to put more than 10 kilos on a table? You cut, you're making sandwiches or whatever. You can put your gas cooker and your pot of water and your, all of that. You're not going to put more than 10 kilos, but you can put 15, 20 if you need to. You've just seen it. We're out of here. If you want to see Tesla 150, that's on for before touring Australia. Thanks for watching guys. I'm out of here. See ya. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Turn the bell on. Please give us a thumbs up if you love that. And in the comments, did you think it wasn't going to happen? Did you think it was going to break? Gotta go guys. See ya. Thanks.